Let's listen to the finance minister address the public in Tamale. We, 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 it's, it's fine to articulate that. Um, in the Bible it says, well, but you still have to give to Caesar what is Caesar's and to the Lord what is the Lord. So what do we have to give to Caesar to make sure that this dream of a Ghana that we all aspire to, we get it? And there's no question that we have to pay for it. So if I look at E-Levy, for instance, and I say that, well, this year we intend to collect 7 billion CDs. And I look at mobile phone trans um, subscribers, and there are over 21 million of us. So assuming I divide um, this 7 billion by 21 million of us, that means it's about 300 CDs a year for each person. Divide by 12, what, 25 CDs? So when I see the energy, especially with which um, graduates that we are making, who have gone through free senior high, are against E-Levy, I ask whether they are calculating what the cost is. And I ask, well, in truthfulness, that does any graduate make what? More than um, 3,000 or 5,000, you know. Assuming you are a graduate and you even made 100,000 CDs a year, and you transferred all of that through Momo, how much would that be? 10% of 100,000 is 10,000. So a third of that is 3,000. So 3,000 cities for your roads, for your free education, for all of that, and you are up in arms. So ask, I mean truly, who should be paying for it? You have every responsibility to ask me to account for it. But we as a people, we can't pretend, you know, that we don't need these resources to do what we are doing. And no graduate makes 100,000 CDs a year. So if 100,000 CDs, you are going to be paying 1.75. I mean, what, what, what is the argument about? That you are saying that the state has done nothing for you since you were born, and so therefore I shouldn't contribute. And that is the honesty with which we as a people must begin to confront the situation. So let me look, let me look at our population. We are now some 30 uh, million people. So let, let's look at the unemployment of which um, literally 56% of us are below um, the 24 age bracket and 58% between you know, 15 and 60. So you assume that um, 58, 60% of 30, 18 million, you assume that these 18 million people are the people who work. But when we get through the statistics, it's only 2.4 million of us who are paying. We are now beginning to digitalize and have addresses, but the Momo immediately lets me get to the 21 million people. And honestly, why do you not want to participate in this? And the truth of the matter is that the world is changing. So it's becoming more of e-commerce, etc. So the old ways in which I tax you are not going to be as effective. So with Imomo, what do we achieve? We achieve all of us now paying something. Not hiding and making noise and pretending, you know. So when a politician does something, you are paying something. So you can challenge, that's what depends on democracy. But if you are not paying, you know, you shout here, then you dodge, you shout here, and you dodge. And then you become a nation that is together looking 
you know, to fight these issues of debt, infrastructure, and unemployment. And the unemployment is not easy. So, for example, we have 4.6 million of our children in primary schools. Eh? Then we go up to junior high, and we end up with 1.8 million in junior high. So they ask, hey, so what happened to the 2.8 people? Where are they? I'm not accounting for them. I'm pretending they are not there. Then I move from junior high to senior high. The 1.8 becomes 1.2 million. But even that 1.2 million, thank God for Nana Kufuado. Because most of us could not go and pay for it. It's being paid for. And we are pretending, oh, we have not got anything from government. What is government doing? Whose 400,000 people do you want to stay at home? And who should pay for that? I went to school in Chebi because I was born out of wedlock. And, you know, my family from the royal family were not really ready to receive, you know, this woman who had, you know, um, gotten, gotten my father to make her pregnant, <laughs> is what they will say. Women, you know how women behave. You know? So, you know, I lived with my uncle on the farm every morning, walk one mile to JV Government Primary. You're, you know, you go to the river in the morning, you cook, you put your plantain in your pocket. Then when dad came back home, I didn't know, um, he um, decided that hmm. so I moved from my name Nanaya Kuntun Kunkun and then they added Kenneth to it. I couldn't even spell the Kenneth and they brought me to um, Legon Primary where he was then uh, a professor. So that opportunity then led me and I wasn't the smartest person in Chebi. Because any time I'm supposed to go to school, I'll find my way to brim and go and swim. By the time I get home, you know, your body is very white, so grandma will know that I go to one school. And obey brim, you know. So, but the intervention of that recognizing, first of all, the courage of a woman not to abort and run away from Chebi to be able to do that and keep me. And then finally, the courage of a man to be responsible, to say, mm, you know, I know my brothers have children all over the place, but me, they are going to take mine. Then I came to Legon Primary to learn how to spell Kenneth and change my name and speak English. And today, God's grace, I am what I am. So for me, the issue of expenditure in education and the intervention, you know, nobody, should belittle it and say that, oh, this five years, nothing has happened, and da, 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 da. Because if I can be here, that means that all our children can do more and do better. Okay. So when we sit there, you know, I, I just feel so privileged and the responsibility of translating that experience, why God put me there, to understand what it means for opportunity to happen. And then when I came back to America, entrepreneurs will know there was no, you know, finance or capital. So my cousin gave us a little room in Cantamanto in his um, construction firm. And it is there that we began to build up, finally managed to borrow some 25,000 from some bank, and then now the firm data bank manages X amount. So you can see that you can despise small beginnings. And the humility of acknowledging where you've come from is then when you are thinking of policy, you know, you affect it. So we have to truly be clear about appreciating where we are coming from, what it is the Lord has done for us, and how we can burden share so that others can come up. You know, so when people talk, um, I, I, I panic in my inside 
that are you really acknowledging what God has done for you or for your cousin? And therefore, let's talk about efficiency. How does governance, you know, um, be strengthened so that we don't waste money? But when you see a new way of making money for the state, which means that the old ones will diminish, then that is where we have to go for. So in 2016, we had 78 billion CDs of transfers on, on Momo. Today, we have almost a trillion, 953. The economy is changing. People are taking advantage of that. Shouldn't the state benefit to look at our debt, to look at our infrastructure, to look at our unemployment? And is it the 25 CDs per average that you are paying a month that we are fighting about? Because you don't want other people to also get their birth rights? That really is what we are talking about. You know, and it's not that we are hanging our whole future on e-levy, but we know that e-levy is even going to grow more. Should we just let it go? Do you just not want to participate in the reconstruction of our country? Is that what it is about? Or is it because you are another party, you don't want this to happen? I don't know the last time we won seats in Tamale. I think Mustafa Ali won it twice or something. But it does not mean that we are not going to put resources into, into Tamale or the northern region. That does not mean that. Yeah? So really, what is it for Ghana? And then I, I looked at the po population statistics, and it is scary because the top five um, um, constituencies with um, the highest population, three of them are NDC. One Cantamanto between the ages of 15 and 35, 163,000. Saneregu, 137,000. Gansau, 133,000 youth. And we shouldn't pass e-levy. What is a parliamentarian for? 